You know, we are living in unprecedented times. The coronavirus or COVID-19 has run riot across this nation and across the nations of the world. We have seen the devastating effect that this disease has had across our television screens and across our media outlets. And now we're actually entering this time of lockdown, self-isolation, just to try and reduce the curve of the spread. You know, in times like these, all the outward appearances get stripped away. You know, coronavirus is no respecter of age, of gender, nationality, socioeconomic status. Once again, we're all just human beings together. You know, in Psalm 33, it puts it like this. No king is saved by the size of his army. No warrior escapes by his great strength. A horse is vain hope for deliverance. Despite all of its great strength, it cannot save. So in other words, despite our great endeavors, despite our political strength, our technological advancement, even our economies, we do not have the strength to do this alone. If that's where the story ends, then it's pretty hopeless, right? But the good news is, that isn't where the story ends. You know, as we turn our eyes towards heaven, we reach out to God, we actually find that he's already reaching out to us and he meets us in the time of our need. In the middle of our calamity, he pulls us up. The psalmist continues, but the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, on those whose hope is in his unfailing love, to deliver them from death and keep them alive in famine. Worship him, trust him, and he will keep you. That's what it says. And you know, as we do this, I truly believe we will see his goodness displayed across our nation. We will see opportunities to share his gospel increase. And actually, we will see the miraculous follow those who believe. You know, in the middle of this COVID-19 outbreak, I pray that this is our statement of intent, that we will wait in hope for the Lord. He is our help and our shield. In him, our hearts rejoice for we trust his holy name. May your unfailing love be with us, Lord, even as we put our hope in you. God bless you today.